the topic of national income accounting, we have already seen the topics of GDP and GNP. We have also seen NDP and NNP. And now, there are further terms like nominal GDP and real GDP. For that, we will be referring to the income classification. We will be also discussing about inflation. So, if you haven't seen a video on inflation, request you to do the same. Income of a person is of three types. First, we will look at the nominal income. The amount that an employee receives in hand as a salary or a wage. It can be per day or per month and represents the current value or the present value of your income. In simple terms, the salary that you are getting today is your nominal income. The real income. It refers to finding the income that you are really getting. That is, after removing the effect of inflation. To understand this, let's take an example. Suppose you want to buy a house, but presently you cannot due to your low income. And then, next year, suppose your salary increases by 10%. Now you go to buy a house, but you realize the price of the house also increased by 10%. So in reality, due to this price increase, your 10% increase and the rise of 10% nullified each other so which means your actual income is similar to your last year's income because you still cannot buy the house and it is represented by nominal income minus present day rate of inflation that is value or amount after adjusted for inflation and this represents the constant value calculation of real income is used mainly for comparison and to understand the true measure of income. To understand this, let's take another example. Suppose your salary, that is your nominal salary, is 15,000. Now, when you adjust it for inflation at the rate of 10%, 1,500 would be deducted. And what remains, that is 13,500, would be your real income. Therefore, the real purchasing power is 13,500 as prices are 10% higher. Then there is another concept of disposable income. Disposable income is the net part of salary or wage that one is free to use and is derived after deducting the direct taxes from the real or nominal income. And it can be expressed as Nominal disposable income would be 15,000 if that is what you get right now. And if you want to calculate real disposable income, 13,500 would be that amount. Therefore, we get the following. Nominal GDP and real GDP. Now we will be introducing these terms. So, nominal GDP is GDP expressed in terms of nominal income and real GDP is expressed in terms of real income, that is, after adjusted for inflation. Then, there are other terms as well, that is, GDP in current prices and GDP in constant prices. Now, you might ask, what are these and how are they derived? We will understand them in our next video. This video was brought to you by Synergy Study Point Pune. Stay tuned for more such videos. And you can also write to us at admin at the rate upscmantra.com. For more information, you can always visit our website www.upscmantra.com. You can like us on Facebook at Synergy S Point and also subscribe to our YouTube channel Synergy Study Point. Thank you.